it's winter here, cold, haven't been riding much so we've been doing some maintenance on our bikes. After the hum and the uh, autumn wander rides that I went on, I managed to pull the suspension apart on the elephant. And this is one of the unfortunate things that I found. It's a shaft that goes in the suspension linkage and because of lack of lubrication by the dreaded previous owner, the hard facing of the shaft has just been completely butchered and worn off. The other end isn't even, isn't even much better. Being a Kajiva elephant, where do you get parts? You can't buy this part anymore. Trent had a look also at the suspension on the Monster. This shaft is the right internal and external diameter to fit my linkage, but it's too long. So the next, that's fine, we'll just cut it. Well, how do you cut it? It's hardened steel, a hacksaw won't go through it. You can't just stick it on a lathe because the tool won't cut through it. Finally found this diagram of someone who had rigged something up that when I spoke to Trent, Trent said, I think we can actually do that. So come over here and we'll show you, or maybe I should take the camera, Trent, and you should explain what it is. I'll just get Trent to pull this bracket out of the tool post on the lathe and show us what it actually is. So yeah, there it is. That's what it is. It's just basically a piece of angle iron with a flat welded onto the onto the back edge. Pretty straightforward and, and the Dremel just sits in the V. Dremel needs to be nice and square, you don't want it to be on an angle, otherwise you're going to cut across the face like that. Effectively we're just we're going to put the bush uh, into, the, into the lathe. We, we can obviously use the lathe to move the Dremel around uh, and we'll just gently slowly cut through at the point where we to make it the same length as uh, that's the old one. So the reason we have to use the Dremel is because to cut hardened steel, you don't cut it, you you grind it really, don't you? Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, so we're not really cutting it. We'll, we'll be yeah just grinding it away slowly. And because it's spinning in the lathe, it just it's just cutting or grinding a, a groove, and it'll just go around, 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 around until it cuts right through. You can see the sort of the, the fibre sort of in in the disc that's sort of holding it all together. Just right. So it's kind of a reinforced yeah, abrasive yeah, disc. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. Okay, well, let's set it up. So the old one is around 77.3. Now as I was explaining before that the length of this is not hugely critical. A little bit longer is not going to make that much difference. When, when we say if it's a little bit longer we're talking like maybe a half a mil or half something like mil, that. Yeah. Not, we're not talking 10 mils or anything <laughs> silly. The new one is about 99.5. So what do you want to take about 22 millimetres off it? 99 yeah. minus 77. 22 mil. Sounds about right to me. So you're just going to measure back from the tip, are you? I guess so, yeah. All right. Here we go. It only cost me 17 quid, that yeah. chart. So that's <laughs> <crazy. laughs> When you got towards the centre, the grinder really started to labour and and the grinding disc just started to disappear. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess the hardening on the inside of the shaft and in the tunnel that hasn't mm. hasn't hasn't it hasn't been dressed back, you know, like the outside of the yeah, shaft has, yeah. so there's probably a lot more of it on the inside. Quite possibly. So I guess we just need to tidy up that end a bit because it's got a little bit of a ridge. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Talk about flash. That looks schmick, man. <laughs> God, blimey. 77.3. <laughs> awesome. That was a lucky guess. Close enough Close for enough. me. So what are you going to do now? You're so, going to put the Dremel at an angle. Yeah, we'll just turn it on a bit of an angle and just give it a slight taper. The reason being, this one, a bit hard to see, but it's got a slight taper there so that when you push it through, it doesn't catch on it doesn't have an edge to catch on bearings and seals and things. So, there they are side by side. 
I'm surprised how easy that was actually. It's yeah, nice. and you, you were saying that you can do it grind valves and stuff with this sort of setup as yeah, well. Yeah, I don't see why if you if you did it nice and accurately. I'd put the valve in here and spin this probably, I guess it's 45 degrees for a valve. Got it. 60 or something. Alright, cheers for that man. Cool, no worries. Nice do the uh, rest of the suspension now.